Let's set up your new Barnes vacuum degassing unit. Packed in the pump box you will find a 3 CFM vacuum pump, instruction booklet and vacuum oil. In the chamber carton you will find a 6 litre stainless steel chamber, vacuum hose, two hose clamps, silicon mat, precision vacuum gauge, clear acrylic lid and a brass tailpiece. Setting up the unit is simple. Remove the silicon mat from its packaging and place it on the bench. Take the stainless steel chamber and set it on the mat. Ensure all the paper is removed from both sides of the lid. Take the vacuum gauge and remove the nut and metal washer. Ensure that the plastic washer remains on. Fit the gauge through the hole in the lid. Ensure that the plastic washer is between the gauge and the lid. Then place the metal washer onto the underside of the thread followed by the nut. Tighten the nut with a spanner. There may be oil residue on the outside of the pump. The pumps are filled and run for quality checks before being emptied for transport. Move the red filler cap and fill the pump with the vacuum oil. Replace the red filler cap. After replacing the cap, check that you have the correct oil level in the sight glass. To connect the vacuum hose, unscrew the blue travel cap from the pump. Fit the brass tailpiece into the thread and tighten with a spanner. Push the hose over the tailpiece and tighten using one of the hose clamps supplied. Repeat the process with the other end of the hose onto the vacuum gauge. Always remove the lid by lifting its sides. Never hold the vacuum gauge to remove the lid. Keep the rubber seal on the stainless chamber clean at all times. To run the unit for the first time, switch on the power at the end of the pump. Ensure that both valves are in the open position. The open position is in line to the gauge. Once the pump is running, you can close off the inlet valve. This is a setup test we like to perform. When the unit hits full vacuum, close off the valve on the vacuum side of the gauge. Then switch off the vacuum pump. If the chamber holds vacuum, then you have successfully set up the unit and have no air leaks. Now to vacuum some resin. Remove the lid and place your resin into the chamber. Replace the lid. Switch on the pump and close the intake valve. You may have noticed the intake valve is fitted with an air filter. Switch off the vacuum pump and slowly open the inlet valve. Remembering that opening this valve too fast could cause your resin to splatter or spill. Once the vacuum is released, remove the lid.
Always ensure to place the lid on a soft cloth or paper towel to avoid scratches and damage. Keeping the lid visibly clear at all times is important. Once the lid is removed, you can take out your de-aired liquid.